Oh, part three. Part three. I didn't know it would do that. So most of the lives I used to do, I used to go for an hour to an hour and a half. And most therapy sessions go for about an hour. So it's not of a surprise that my lives and my videos go for so long. How do you break something? I can tell you Monique's song at heart. Her, whenever I've done sessions with her, um, uh, my husband and I did two with her. I've done about six with her on my own. Each time I do work with her, I'm amazed. It's about three hours worth of work. And I'd love to go to her more often. Ants everywhere. I'd love to go to her more often, but uh, sometimes I only pay $50 for three hours. And it's like, whoa. And she's, she's choosing that. This is what I'm walking on, if you're wondering why I'm walking so... <laughs> Basically, she's choosing to, because I'll say up front, I've got $50 to offer, and then she still gives me three hours, so that is her choice, and I need to accept that. But I still feel bad about it. I still feel like I want to give her more, but the thing is I actually have to give her at least, well, I choose to feel like I have to give her at least $50, so if I don't have it, then I can't see her at all, right? No. Oh. But she's amazing. And what made me think is, oh, yeah, yeah. Monique said to me, oh, sorry, those rocks are a bit sharp. Monique said to me that she's the one that encouraged me to do this YouTube. She's the one that said, get out there, Nadine, and the world needs to hear what you've got to say. She's also the one that said it's the rawness. No. Stay on topic. Keep it to one topic is what the only feedback she's given me. And then she says to me, it's the rawness. It's the rawness, it's the process of working through what you work through that is actually going to transform people and help people out. So I just got a message from a friend of mine that I've known for a very long time, okay, and we had a falling out because I just couldn't bear it anymore. I couldn't st She felt like she couldn't trust me anymore because she felt like I said something that she just thought was too rough, too harsh. The reason why I sent that message, or I spent that three or four hours writing, was because I was like, enough is fucking enough. Enough is enough. I can't stand it anymore. Like, you've got to bloody move on from this and actually move to the next level. The, the potential that this friend of mine has, the ability to soar. And uh, I see this in so many people. Like, they hold themselves back. And I know people see this in me, you see. I got an, a friend, a beautiful friend which I'd have to ask her permission if I use her name, but she she said to me one day, you're like a child. She's got bro broken English, Brazilian. You're like a child sometimes. And I said, yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, I know. Ouch, don't, you're wet. Go away, go away. Just because I sit down, seriously, <sighs> hate it when you do that. Dogs can be very annoying, I tell you. Very annoying. So I sat down to rest. And he wants to like, jump all over me. Oh, which I did not want him to do. Because he's muddy and wet. <laughs> they really like to be really close to you. Oh, because they're pack animals, you see? Oh, yo. Oh. Oh. I just sat on the spiky thing. I'll show you. I just accidentally sat on that. Spiky little twiggy twigs. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Oh, I think I might be sick, actually. I don't want to be sick. I'm just going to... My nose is really itchy. Hang on. I hope I hope I'm not getting sick. I just notice that I'm coughing a lot. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Look at him, he's wet. Beautiful, handsome. And there's um, Zena. 
Rolly, rolly, rolly. And there's the sunset. Rolly, 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 Polly in the sunset. So this is the third part three of the video. So part three of the video, guys, is uh, Twilight. Does anyone remember me saying that one of the hardest times that I have is when it goes from day to night, the twilight time. It's when this for deep foreboding fear kicks in. It is horrifyingly frightening for me this time of the day. Yeah, no. Oh, she didn't shake on me, that's good. Um, but anyways, this is actually one of the most scariest times of the day for me. And um, it used to be terrifying. I couldn't cope. I'd always have to be doing something. Um, and this is also a time when people with dementia freak out too. So it's to do with the, the light shift, the change of light in the sky. and It sets off a different emotional experience. Um, it sets off an emotional uh, reaction in our brain. Um, I don't think I've got abuse history from this twilight time, but I think what happened was when it was dark, the abuse started, and when it was day, I was safe. Because I... She's doing little zoomies. Wow, she's doing little zoomies. That's what Alvin used to do. Woohoo! Gentle! Wow, she's actually running fast. She, he was resting and she started running gentle. And I've got, uh, I've just been bitten by fucking ants, man. You can't sit down in the bloody wheat belt. Oh. Ouch. It's irritating, see? I, sorry. Sorry. So basically I was just sitting on the ground just there and I got bitten by an ant on the butt. <sighs> just wanted to relax. <laughs> Anyways. There you go. I just sort of feel like I might... Well, woo! What I want to say is um what's she doing lots of zoomy zooms look watch 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 this oh well gosh i can't oh uh, ah fuck fucking ants are crawling all over me man ow because i sat down they got on top of me okay enough look he's squashing her terrible up oh, enough Okay, come on. So basically what I'm going to do now is just shorten this third one. The third one's going to be a little bit short, I guess. So yeah, my fear's kicking in, my foreboding's kicking in, my, I'm a little bit worried about how I'm going to get through this night considering how tough the day's been. But I will tell you one thing, I took the dogs for a walk and a swim. So I've done my responsibility and I feed them when I get home, I feed my cat. Uh, this water I'm happy for them to swim in. And uh, you never know, I might even put my, my uh, hair, so I'm going to put on my uh, I might even start plastering, doing some more plastering. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? If I got inspired to do some plastering. And you know what that means? That means that I've actually done a job today. So I've done admin and moved forwards with my house. And uh, now I'm going to grab this dog before she rolls in the dirt. Oh, because you know what she does? Oh, when she's... Oh, yuck. Oh, she's so wet, man. Oh, I tell you what she does. When she's wet, oh, get up on the bonnet. Oh, oh, oh. Sit there. I've got her on the bonnet. What she does, I'm not kidding you. Uh uh. What she does, which I really don't like, sit. Look at her, for a ragged, wet little thing. I'll tell you what she does, which is disgusting. She jumps in the water, right? She gets completely saturated, and then she rolls. 
all over the she rolls all over the ground uh -uh. and she gets filthy absolutely filthy stay out and leave her oh she's gonna jump down she gets absolutely fit what okay i'll show you what she does watch this watch this watch it's disgusting yeah and now she's just going to get completely covered in bloody dirt all right watch this she does it every time it's ridiculous look how dirty she is now <laughs> every time Look at that! So she's wet, covered in sand. <laughs> and I'll show you the bloody car, man. I'll show you the bloody inside of the car. <laughs> it's so messy in here. <laughs> it's disgusting. Look at Alvin. I mean, it gets in straight away. He's so good like that. He never used to be. Anyway, look at the bloody pillow. Okay, come on, Zena. Come on. Come on. Quick, quick. Come on. Oi, Zena. Alvin used to do that. Did you know that? Did you see him just jump straight in? It's so good. He's growing up. He never used to do that. He used to bloody make a big issue out of it. Zena, come on. Just like what Zena is now. Come on, Zena. No, she's going to be really annoying. So this is what uh, Alvin used to do when he was a pup. So I swear to God, guys, when you grab get pups, it's not easy. Come here, Zena. Uh, she's been a little punk. So what she's actually done then is she's run off. And this is exactly what Alvin used to do. Very irritating very irritating it makes you just so mad but you know what you have to do over time what you do right is you this is how we used to get Alvin to work out don't fucking be annoying just get in a bloody car when it's time to go and she doesn't even seem to even notice this is what we used to do with um, Alvin. It was the only way we could get him to um, bloody realise that when the car goes and when we say it's time to go, you get in a bloody car. It's one of the most annoying things to experience. Come on. Anyways, what I'm going to have to do is probably get off this video, pick her up with one hand. There's a card on the ground. And anyways, uh, oh, look at this little brat. Come on, get up. Get up. I don't look at her. She's filthy. Up. I'm going to have to play pick her up. Jeez. Good Lord. I can tell you what, she's heavy. She's getting big. She's getting really big. Anyways, that's the first time that she's actually literally run off. So I can tell you right now, that's really annoying. And she better not bloody do it again. She better not do it again, okay? Because it is one of the most annoying things when you have a dog that won't get in the car when it's time to go. After, after, you've actually had this really, 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 really fun time with them. Anyways, you know, guess what? One thing I've always wanted to do for you guys is show you the drive home. So I'll turn the video around and you can hopefully see the drive home and how beautiful it is. The way here is more beautiful because you can see the mountains. But I'll show you the, the I'll show you my drive home. And I may or may not, I may or may not post this video. I may or may not post this video. I'll just see what you can see.
right, so this is our trip home. It is, it is a bit of a rough road, so hopefully I don't um, damage the move the positioning of the of the thing. So here we go, driving home from the Berlin Pools back to our home. Enjoy the trip, peoples. Enjoy the trip. And hopefully, hopefully, I've got to go up this rough road. So hopefully, 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 I don't dislodge the camera. I'm going to go super, super slow. Woohoo! And that's the train track in front of us. And there's quite a few trains that come through each day. And this is actually the way I... This is a good old country, country living peoples. For some of you who live in the city or some of you live in other countries that's not arid like Australia. We have quite dry bush in Australia. Yeah, these videos I do for you just basically documenting my life and also uh, of interest. Some people find other countries interesting or other lifestyles interesting or, you know, well, I'm really interested in nature and uh, some of you are as well and I love it when people show me where they are, their landscape, because I haven't done a lot of travelling, you know, so... Why not see Australia this way, hey? So this is the Avon Valley. This is the wheat belt of Western Australia. That's 7.30 p.m. I'll take you through the outback roads. To the left, you can see the horses and old homesteads, but I don't think the camera picked up on that. To the right is uh, the road that takes you to Maresk, and to the right is the train track. And that heads down to Perth. And um, um, sort of to the left is more of the sunset to our, in front you can see a bit of sunset. I don't know what you guys can see, if you can see the houses or not. There's some really nice houses around here, old houses. Northern's an old town. Now it's not too hot now. So you can see why I need a car to um, get take the dogs to the river because um, to walk all this way would be ridiculous, especially in the heat. Or in winter as well it just would not be a nice it would not be enjoyable and that where you saw us walking that was a uh, lead free area so i just drive them there let them off lead and um yeah it's just beautiful you know like it's just an enjoyable walk for me an enjoyable adventure for them but you can see look cockatoos this time of year we always get so many we're about to go under the train track. Under the train track. When we first moved up here, when we were looking at properties, Anthony and I looked at some properties around this area. We looked at properties everywhere. Now I can turn right here, but I won't. I'll show you. I'll show you some of the buildings. The old part of. Um, this is the old part of Northern uh, that isn't so, um, there's a lot of old buildings here that um, are empty. <laughs> I mean commercial buildings. It's a bit sad really. So Northern used to be bigger than what it is now. So 
to the left is the Grand Hotel, which is, um, and to the right is the Northern Shire, and to the right is the old Northern Train Station, which doesn't work anymore, but it's beautiful. I don't know if the video is showing it. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful building. Sorry, that's the Shire Council to the right there. A lot of old buildings around here that just are empty now. Um, so if anyone wants to invest in this town, wow, and they're, and they're, they're cheap, they're not expensive. I mean, I could show you the town if you want. I could just do a little drive through the town just for fun. Why not? I take the wheel live band, Aussie Day. That that country place is really interesting. It's um, it's a country club and it looks so derelict on the outside, but they actually have live bands. It's really interesting. It doesn't look anything flash, but it's got happening. So to the right is where I can go as well. But I'll just drive straight ahead and show you Northern Town. To the left is the library. Um, I'm not going to go all the way through the town. I will go left here. Um, now the main reason is there's a few speed bumps uh, in town and I don't want to dislodge the phone. That's the river in front of us, which is really nice. Library to the left. Um, and you can see, this is just beautiful. I, Anthony, I used to bring Alvin here when he was little, when he was a pup. But that's when and he was, it was easier, he was smaller, he was on lead. And I don't, I just like to let him run off lead. I don't enjoy walking with him on lead. I like him to run, you know. So yeah, that's the river to the left. All the main streets to the right on the other side um, and on the left here we've got um, the Bilya Court Budja Centre, the Aboriginal Centre, very big building and to the left here we've got River's Edge Cafe which is beautiful, to the right we've got Dome and the Chemist and you know that's the main side town, to the left we've got the market, the 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 the, 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 the um, the, the the park where the markets are held. Oops. Okay. And um, and then yeah, there's a beautiful park to the left, an amphitheatre. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful park. And and then um, to the left takes you out of town. And we're turning right here. There's a beautiful little lake human made lake there we're turning right and we are going to let these cars pass there's a few cars here don't know why he indicated right then and then didn't they really turn right but that's weird and then so now I'll take you through the town. A lot of empty spaces, a lot of old buildings that are empty. It's very sad that part of Northern. We've got an old pub to the left, which is the uh, it's a it's a happening place, but um, hello. Okay, so I've got the speed bumps that I don't want to knock off. Yeah, and then we've got the dome to the right, um, and now I could keep going further down into town, but I'm going to go up left up here to show you some old buildings. So that's. Spud shed to the left, an old nursery that's not happening to the right, that's sad, Bunnings took that out. That's my doctor's surgery, just directly head on the right, that beautiful old building, I've done footage of that in the past. The art centre on the left, 
Um, but check out this beautiful building straight ahead and to the right. That's my doctor surgery there. Beautiful building. Love it. And, and now we're heading back to my place. Beautiful old northern. And it's big. There's way more than this. Northern is huge. That's uh, Woolworths to the right. Um, St. Joseph Church on the left, that's where uh, my friend Claire who sold us the house that we live in. She has op shop there on Fridays and um, and she, um, I help her out. That's the town hall to the left. That's the Bridgely Church on the left. So this is the walk that you see me walk on a regular basis. That's Coles and Audi to the left. I've like seen many, many, many times. And um, to the right of me is the courthouse and police station I've showed you before. Beautiful old buildings. The Shell Servo on the left. Um, and directly ahead is the road heading towards the, the river that I take the dogs to. And. Um, this is a walk that you see me do on a regular basis. To see it by car is probably quite interesting, so I'll just show the Dukes on this side. You've seen me do this walk many time over. Ahead. Could it be could be a really happening pub, happening beautiful grand it's a beautiful, beautiful building. Just not being utilized properly. It's terrible. It's got so much potential. Anthony and I had dreams of run, of putting of putting entertainment there and even maybe he had dreams of managing the place but he wasn't assertive enough to make it happen. So sad. But that place is very glamorous. It's got a lot of potential. Not being utilised at all to its, to its full ability. And this is my street going up to my house, Morel Park on the left. Beautiful, beautiful park. And I'm going through the back gate of my place. So I'll turn the the video off soon. Yep. So there you go. And now we're heading heading to my home. And uh, the back alleyway to my home. And then I shall turn the, um, the video off. That's my really awesome neighbours there. They're two beautiful little children. This is a country Australian back alleyway classical back alleyway and we're at the back of my house and uh, I'll just see if the video is still running and see what it looks like There's a good old country Australia. This is North Lark Australia. Lots of corrugated iron. And this is my awesome backyard. My beautiful, beautiful, beautiful home. I've got so much landscaping to do on. Oh, so much terracing, fencing, landscaping, you name it.
So yeah, that's the um, my back gate metal tin. Quite an interesting design, simple. And then welcome to my nightmare, but it's not really a nightmare. Not really. Now the reason why I'm parking here is I've got heaps of cement in the back of the truck that I need to unload for this fence that I'm building. Oh. So, hello, hello. There you go. Come on out, Alvin. There's Alvin coming out. Come on, Tina. Come on. Oh, she hasn't worked out how to get out yet. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh. She doesn't get out on her own just yet. Oh, there we go, little buffer. So, we're home. We made it. The dogs have had their their uh, run. I did a very, very long live. Um, I've always been wanting to actually um, show the trip. Interestingly, I've been wanting to do a video of the road trip, you know, coming back. But, you know, now, oh, I just dropped my feather. Now, what I wanted to show you was, um, yeah, the cement that I got, because I got lent some money, you see, to get plaster. So, I got given more than I needed. So what I did, oh, well, I got all this cement as well, which I've got to get out of the, of the car because it's uh, taking up space and weight on the car. But that's going to go here, you see, where this trench is. Hang on, let me just move my finger out of that. So see where this trench is here? See where that uh, 